I'm back at the site of the new build again. It's been a few weeks since the earth was put down and we've uh, managed to find a contractor to put a wall up for us. So I'm going to take you around the site and talk through what's been going on in the last few days. So two days ago they came here and they measured out the site, worked out exactly where they were going to build the wall and got the levels and started digging the foundation holes for the posts. So we've got holes every 2.5 metres at the bottom of which is concrete with steel in the middle of it. And you can see along here the holes are quite deep which will help keep the wall sturdy But unfortunately, on the other side, the hole's quite shallow because the land slopes down and they've uh, struck a balance by having very deep holes on one side and shallow holes on the other, which means that the posts are almost on that far wall there. They're almost sitting on the surface. Not quite, but almost. These three posts here have got in today. Now we have nine posts down here, which went in yesterday. So uh, surrounding the posts and going along are the it's the um, the foundation, I guess you'd call it for the wall. Each post is connected by steel and there's a good amount of steel within the concrete foundations. And steel poking up so that when they build the wall, the gap in between will have steel reinforcement. Currently we have no more posts to put in. The shop that we're buying them off are actually making them for us and they can only make six a day and then they've obviously got to harden for I don't know how long so we've got a backlog of order for posts for the rest of the um, the rest of the perimeter we've got more cement on order we've had a fresh delivery of stones and sand today uh, just doing the foundation holes took up most of the first load and a fresh delivery of steel as well has come today mainly because um, this wall is being built to my spec based on experience somewhere else and my general knowledge of, of uh, what a retaining wall has to put up with uh, don't think they would normally build the foundations with so much steel and so wide but we're going to have a double skin up to one meter high with a 15 centimeter steel reinforced concrete core to the wall just to make sure that any pressure on it is going to be taken easily So we're going to have a five meter sliding gate here which is pretty much going to be in front of this pile of earth.
and then the boundary wall at the front here will be lower than around the other three sides deliberately so we can catch the views so very approximately where I'm standing now is going to be where our relaxing outdoor space will be which will still be under the roof of the house but it will capture these views and the view we will have is directly to the front of the house not to the left side but we will get a view around to the right all the way around here now we're not very concerned about seeing just around there because that's someone else's farmhouse and also there's um, a buffalo pen or two there but I do want to be able to see sort of from there onwards and unfortunately the height of the posts at the moment is such that it will completely block the view one of the key features of having a house just here Anyway, the height of these posts um, is down to a misunderstanding between myself and Sunteray. Um, on the design it was lower posts for the last four that you can see in the picture there. And that would enable us to have a much better view. What we're going to do in fact, because of the position of the house and the farm next door, the old farm buildings, we're going to cut down the first three posts to a suitable height once I've got my heights worked out for where the house will be and the height of the house exactly. Um, and then we're going to build the wall slightly lower in this corner at the front and the front wall will be lower as well um, so that we're going to have maximum views. I've come from Patia to spend a few days here to monitor the start of the wall build really and just make sure that all the little intricacies are understood, the positions of things, things like pipes going through the wall at the back for our services in the house when it's eventually built. The position of the gate was a bit of an issue for us, a um, bit of a misunderstanding with that. Uh, so we've had um, so far I think three misunderstandings where things were either weren't done the way we thought or they were not going to be done the way we thought so I have to say that when you have a house built for yourself and you've got very particular um, requirements you really do need to be there and make sure that everyone is doing their job correctly each day and not make any assumptions this is one of St. Therese's fields that she's putting down to pasture. And um, the other day she was walking across it, checking things, and she came across a set of elephant prints. So she's had to strengthen the fence around here with barbed wire and electric fencing to discourage them coming on here. It's a very real problem here. Um, one of Suntory's primary concerns about the house build you can just see it over there across the road is the fact that the elephants come out of the jungle to feed in the mornings, early mornings and um, they're very strong animals they'll go where they want to go so it's quite a dangerous thing to have around you know your cars and vehicles are vulnerable and your houses are vulnerable um, not the sort of problem that we're used to in the Western world, but apart from battling relative poverty and a subsistence way of life, they've got to battle the wildlife as well. The other thing that occurred here in the last week was that a cobra came out and was threatening the cattle. And luckily St. Ray was here at the time when she spotted it and one of her baby cows, one of the new ones, was uh, inquisitive about this snake and um, was approaching it. Luckily she managed to stop it from coming to any harm. And then she found a giant snake skin later on in the day when she was searching around for its nest. I think its nest is in a, one of these banks that separate the fields and she found a giant snake skin on the outside of the entrance where it had shed its skin that, that day.
Right, that's about it for the moment. Do some more filming when they're a bit further advanced. <laughs>